Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Greg's Restorations. We are working on this 1977 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Uh, the build started out as a pretty good rust-free survivor. We actually worked on the truck for a long time for the previous customer, and then the customer didn't want it anymore, and we sold it to an another customer of ours, and then did the full restoration that the vehicle needed. The vehicle took just about I would say six to eight months to restore. We did not do a full restoration on this vehicle, but we did a, I would say body on restoration and uh, you know dug into a lot of unknown hidden surprises. Most of the restoration work on this vehicle was cosmetic work and body work. We did some light mechanical work to it, such as rebuilding and servicing the front axle, servicing the rear axle, and some light engine service. And we also installed a 2.5 inch Old Man Emu suspension kit in this. The suspension in the, old, in the truck before was kind of like patched together. You know, this truck was from, you know, probably a farm at one time and they just, you know, did what they needed to do just to get by with it. So we got a nice suspension system for it. So it sits level rides nice it's a good kit for these land cruisers this vehicle is sporting a set of 15 inch american racing wheels with a set of 32 inch by 11 and a half vf goodrich all-terrain tires vf goodrich tires are a really good tire for these land cruisers they have a nice kind of tread tread style to them they have a nice aggressive look they drive down the road quiet one thing though is when they're new and you're driving down these little dirt roads, make sure that you pull all the rocks out of the tires before you get back out on the road because they will sling rocks in the underside of these fenders. That leads to another good point. When we do these trucks, we, we spray Raptor liner up underneath the fender liners to help ensure that if something ever does get kicked up, it doesn't dent the fender from the inside out because there are no fender liners in these trucks. Primitive, rugged, old school trucks how trucks should be made still. Truck had a black spray and bed liner in before, but when we changed the color of the vehicle, did some, some rust repair and inside of the vehicle, and we sprayed a color matched Raptor bed liner in it to match the exterior of the vehicle. Factory, these trucks just came painted floor with rubber mats, but on this one, we wanted to give it something a little bit more durable. Customer's gonna be taking this to the beach. It's gonna be down on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. So from people up in Massachusetts, they call it the Cape be a nice summer beach vehicle for him and his family. This is just a, a basic straight six with a carburetor on it. This vehicle also has a six and a one header on it that we installed years back. A little bit more for better for performance and we made a, a ceramic coated exhaust system on it years back. That's in pretty good shape. So we've been working on this truck for, I would say about seven years now between the two customers. We did not do any, any restoration work under the hood other than some detail work and light mechanical work. Customer's gonna bring it back in for some light mechanical work over the winter, but summer's here and he wants to enjoy it and drive it and have some fun. This is the customer's third Land Cruiser. He does not have any, any more Land Cruisers anymore. He sold them all to send kids to college and you know, life sometimes just gets in the way. So uh, he was able to finally afford one again and uh, we restored it to something like he had in the past. Uh, this restoration was mostly done to a stock standard. It's not a resto mod, it has the factory 2F straight six in it with a uh, Ford speed transmission. Also, it is a disc brake truck and it has upgraded power steering, mini truck power steering conversion kit in it that we did uh, years past. A lot of the things on this truck, it has like all the OEM mirrors, OEM front bumper, sun visors, rear bumperettes, marker lights, reflectors. So we try to keep this thing looking like a, a factory truck. One thing we did add was we added a rear heater back into this truck and added a factory center console back into it, painted factory colors. Took those things out over the years and this is actually the first truck that I've actually restored a factory center console for because everybody always upgrades to something else with like a toughy security console with an armrest but we were trying to go back to a original standpoint with this truck. Toyota is pretty awesome now. They sell a lot of uh, factory components for these Land Cruisers such as the wiper blades, the wiper arms, the mirrors, the sun visors, the hood hooks, um, everything, anything that we could get, we got OEM Toyota for this vehicle since we're trying to do a factory restoration on it. Teamed up with our friends from Retro Manufacturing and got ourselves a retro radio with their retro speakers. They sell a nice kit with a nice faceplate for these radios. You know, they mimic the factory radios 
from these trucks from back in the 70s, but this is a good aftermarket product that you can have that has all modern features. Pretty good system. We also got a set of retro seat belts in this as well. Front and rear, we got the lap belts in the rear. So any of your radio or seat belt products, reach out to Retro Manufacturing. The biggest part of the project of this vehicle was restoring the body. Uh, the body was had a lot of hidden things from previous owners from years, years past. Sometimes when you get into restoring vehicles, you can't see these things until you tear into them until you take the three layers of paint off that have been on there. So this vehicle was stripped down to bare steel. Old bodywork repairs, it wasn't really a rot box. It had a little rust common spot in the rear, right below the rear half doors, there was the rear channel was rusted. Um, so we repaired that and put new metal in there. We also had to uh, take off the old diamond plate that people put back on the 80s and 90s. So, you know, a lot of welding, a lot of little, a lot of bunch of holes drilled everywhere from old CB whip antennas and anten other, other accessories from over the years. So we all welded everything up and it had some dings and dents that we fixed properly and driver side rear quarter panel had been in an accident one time so we straightened that. Made this vehicle straight again. We did add an aftermarket set of front fenders on it. FJ40 is a common for having rust issues so we wanted to have this nose align up pretty well so we got a set of aftermarket fenders for it and fit those to the vehicle. This vehicle was painted red previously and they just did kind of like a poor paint job on it. That looked decent, but a lot of, a lot of the factory hardware and a lot of uh, components had overspray on it, so you spent a lot of time cleaning and assembling parts. This vehicle was sprayed factory dune beige as you can tell in the engine bay, you can still, still see the factory color from the engine bay that we did not paint that. So we, we've got, we put this truck back to the original color. We use all Sherwin-Williams products, base coats and undercoats on this vehicle. You need anything for paint and bodywork wise, make sure you stop by your Sherwin-Williams automotive distributor. We did a nice frame and underbody restoration on it. So we wire wheeled everything down and undercoated everything because the customer is going to be taking this out on the beach and gonna be driving it. It's not gonna be a winter vehicle anymore, but we did a set of OE steel brake lines and stainless brake hoses. Any brake line and brake hose application needs, hit up our friends at uh, Classic Tube. Another this thing on this truck is I spent some time restoring all the dash knobs in this truck. Over the years, they get all the paint folds out of the letters and stuff like that. So we spent some time scraping out any of the exterior old paint from the knobs and uh, doing a fine paintbrush and redoing all the knobs the correct white color and then doing the hazard uh, button red as well. Another couple things that we did on this vehicle was um, we installed all the factory decals where they needed to be. Uh, we do make the worn locking hub decal that we put on the dash. Anything that this vehicle needed for factory decals, we put it back on it. It's nice because we have a we have actually a, a, a part yard of Land Cruiser. I think I have about 30 Land Cruisers between my house and my shop. We have a lot of Land Cruisers kicking around, but it's very beneficial for our industry because this Land Cruiser was missing a lot of little components, such as the, the fan switch. So it was missing a few things that our parts trucks actually helped us identify and put in. What I've always liked about this vehicle is we always talked about at the shop is, this was one of the nicest driving Land Cruisers that we've ever had come in. It's just well broken in. It, and it just drives it goes down the road great some of these vehicles they each one of them drives differently and the gear setup the wheel and tire package the engine everything about it is just super smooth but yeah this vehicle drives down the road 50 60 miles an hour stops great steers great i couldn't ask for a better land cruiser thanks for viewing our youtube channel and we'll see you on the next ride